Hello everybody, I'm Oleto. Welcome back to the 30 day challenge. Today we are on day 8. I can't believe we're over a week already. Very, very exciting. As you can see, we are in our little hybrids here, which is kind of what we are focusing on today is the flowers. Um, one of you sent me a little guide on Instagram, so thank you so much again. Yeah, so we're gonna get some red mums by the yellow ones. But first, I'm going to do a little sped up thing of what I did this morning, just so y'all can see. I went and bought Leaf's little shop here so we can get more flowers, because it's just taking too long to get different types from nooks and also leaf's only been to our island once or twice and also we got the alice in wonderland dress um from the able sisters so that was pretty cool and then i changed into this little goth outfit for label that's what she wanted to see today and then she gave me um well she didn't give me it yet she mailed me a taylor's ticket and i changed that outfit and we're looking at the other hybrids that we have and yeah here's the little yellow mums that we planted yesterday i'm just going to be putting red mums down next to them so i'm opening up the designer app to put some more dirt so i know which ones i placed there that aren't um you know multiples of those if that makes sense and then we go into nook's cranny and i was very happy to see that we got a garden gnome because I am definitely going to be doing a build with those guys. We are probably going to have to get um, Reese and Cyrus now though to get all the variants of the garden gnomes. So that's very exciting. And then also I was making these little infographics of the chrysanthemums. I am not sure which one I'm going to go with. I think I'm just going to keep editing it. And then I also made a little... Oh yes, and this is the next day, so we got a yellow mum bud, so I moved it so I knew which was which. And we got a, a bamboo noodle slide from a balloon, that was awesome. But yeah, I'm trying to work on the custom designs a little bit here, and I made a little board of how to duplicate the mums, if that makes sense. So I'm going to do this with all the flowers. My roommate did this a long time ago, and I was like, well, now that one of you sent me the guide, I'm just going to do that. And it'll be a little bit easier, especially since I can't really use all of the custom design slots. Um, <laughs> at least I'm probably not going to, but yeah. And then I went and enacted the beautiful Island Ordinance to hopefully help us get some more hybrids. And we went and saw Leaf over here. And he wasn't selling any new flower buds, unfortunately. But I did get some pumpkin starts and some tomato starts from him, so that was nice. And then this morning, Isabel said that we were going to have a meteor shower, so I time traveled a bit forward into the day for nighttime to wish on some shooting stars. And then over here, I opened up the Island Designer app because I was going to put some dirt down for the new crops, but then I'm not sure if that's where I want the crops to be, if we're even going to have a permanent farm, so I decided not to do that. So. Yeah, I'm just clearing a little bit of space here, <laughs> having to put my tools down a bunch to wish on the stars. And then I was looking for Celeste and we found her. I'm so happy to meet her. She is literally, I don't know, one of the most adorable NPCs, if not the most. And she gave me a little recipe for a shooting star wand, so that's nice of her. And then Sparrow is giving us the shocked reaction and now I'm going to go back into the game and we will play at normal speed here. Good morning! Right now it is March 18th. The beautiful island ordinance is in full effect starting today. We need to run our effort as we focus on watering flowers, removing weeds, and reducing our garbage output. Let's all work together to protect the natural beauty of our beloved home. That's all for today. Alright, I have opened up the little hybrid guide on my monitor. I can see that. Oh yes, we got um the little star fragments. Very cute. All right, let's pick up all of these star fragments. And oh my gosh, yeah, no, that's a new orange one because we had this orange one yesterday. That's awesome. We're getting some orange pansies. Oh, and I see the glowing spot. Oh, and KK's here today. Cool. All right, we're gonna run the beach, pick up all the star fragments. Ooh, gyro fragment. <laughs> also, I'd like to. Uh, upgrade the storage so we can put this stuff away. Bottle. Oh, it's a cooking recipe. From Sherb's tummy, a pound cake. Yum! 
That sounds good, actually. All right, since we're here, let's look at the moms. Okay, no new ones over here. We're gonna get some more white ones, though. And potentially more pink hyacinths. Wow, I really need to separate these. Ah, oh, yes, another purple rose. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh, we got pink, a pink rose. Actually, I was not expecting that today, so that is very awesome. The beautiful island ordinance is working. And um, I put some fences out so it's easier to hit the rocks. Star fragment. Star fragment. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Thank you. This is so fun. Oh, and I don't know if y'all could see. Sahara was here yesterday, but I didn't even talk to her because I just don't want to spend the money on that right now. I guess I should have got rugs, though. So I don't know what I was thinking. All right, let's go into Nook's Cranny here. Hmm... All right, all right. Can I afford this? I can. Awesome. Okay, if KK is here today, then that means tomorrow Leaf should have some new things at his stall and hearths. So we can go check that out. Hopefully he'd have new flowers. All right, there we go. Um, I think it'd be nice to also go to the roost every day and say hi to Blathers. Yesterday he told me that I could go get to-go coffee starting today, so that's pretty cool. I guess you only have to go three times in a row for that. <gasps> oh my gosh, yes, our first little pattern from her. It's some patterned fabric I made it myself. You know how you can customize furniture by switching out the parts that are made of fabric? I um thought you might want to use my fabric for that. I also made lots of different kinds of patterns, so if you see one you like, feel free to use it. I hope you like using them. Aw, yay. Oh, and I did work on this a tiny bit more. I'm still working on it though. I added more leaves to them and I'm starting to add uh, shading to some of them, like this one in the corner. But actually now that I'm looking at it, it's definitely not dark enough. So I'll have to go back in and do some more of that. Yeah, now that we have that ordinance, I definitely gotta keep an eye on these flowers so they don't get out of control. So I'd love to put them in like fencing and stuff. Okay, um, since I have that guide up, I actually do see that we did need to separate those reds. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, those reds not work. It, we need to get reds made from red and blue to get purple pansies, so I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, Biddy. I hear a balloon. What's up? So good to see you, my dear. I don't like this stuff invigorating. There we go. And we got... Steamer basket set. Cool. I keep getting bamboo recipes. Maybe we should go on a... On a boat tour or to Nook... What is it called? The Nook Mile Islands? <laughs> to get some bamboo. Since it is in season, apparently. Alright. Uh, did we get any more fragments? I don't know. I did like over 40 wishes, I think. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to get a cup of coffee today. Hello, Wilbur. Um, shades are fogging up in the coffee steam. Can't take them off, though, against regs. Some of us weren't born with wings that can carry us, but we were still born to fly. That's the cutest thing I've ever heard. Well, I'm gonna give copy two now, Wilbur. Yes, please. Thank you. I'll do just that. I knew I could count on Brewster to make the perfect blend. Alright, now we're gonna head to the boat tour. Thank you very much. No problem. You can also get a to-go coffee. Copy, please. Okay. Thanks, Brewster. I just shove coffee in my pocket. That makes no sense. Okay, Captain, we're gonna go on another tour here. Aye, I'm ready to go. <gasps> Ooh, I was gonna I was gonna say yay tomatoes, but we just got tomatoes. Alright, tomatoes. Uh are those money trees? What in the world? Oh my goodness. Okay, only a thousand bells. 
for each, but still. <gasps> oh my gosh, tulips! Yes! We don't have any tulips, and now we got tulips. Sorry, we got very excited there. Um, yeah, we're definitely gonna grab those. I'm really happy we came here now. Gonna hit the rocks as well. And of course, uh, we'll get some wood here. Tulip. Tulip. Oh, there's the bottle. Okay, we got a cooking recipe from anchovy. Oh, spaghetti marinara. That sounds really good right now. Tomato, tomato, tomato. Okay, that is all the resources from this island. Um, I took all the tulips that I could. I think I got all of them, honestly. We got some wood and some rocks and clay. I had some in my inventory before we came here, though. And also some tomatoes, so we'll sell some of those. But we're gonna save from here so we can go to tomorrow and then go check out Leaf at Harps Island. Okay, it is the next day and Sherry is thinking. What you thinking about? There's something I wanted to bug you about if you got a sec. I love it here, but I also want to check out other islands. Thoughts? It's okay. I get it. I get it. You can leave. It's fine. It's fine. Keep the others in line, all right? Sweet! Okay, tomorrow we're gonna go on a villager hunt, or I guess the next day? Yeah, that's awesome. Cool. She did grow on me a little bit, but but yeah, uh, she doesn't really fit the island. Oh yeah, I grabbed a bunch of tulips. Cool. Anything cool over here? Uh, the, the beautiful island ordinance is working maybe too well? I don't know. Oh, the wheat's grown in. I might wait to harvest that so that everything's in sync again. I'm not sure. Okay, we got tomatoes, tomatoes, and coconuts. Nice. Okay, we'll probably get everything in here. And my pockets are full again. Okay, can we buy the recipes if our pockets are full? Okay, cool. We don't have anything to cook on, though, I don't think. Thank you. Since we have all these tulips, I think we should go start a little flower breeding garden. So, yeah, I'm just gonna, I think, close to, whoa, close to where we have it already, but I'm gonna move it a little bit so that we can keep better track of it. Maybe fence it in like I was saying. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we definitely need to get a hold of these. <gasps> oh my gosh, blue! Yee! Blue or purple. Either way, very excited about that. That's awesome. How about over here? Yes, we got some more yellows I can put with this yellow mum to make the purple ones. Cool. Yeah, this is kind of what I want to do for all of them. Oh, hi Daisy Mae. But yeah, I gotta open up the Island Designer app. I think we'll flatten out this river a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna put this back. I think we'll probably do a waterfall right here on a cliff and it'll go nicely into the river mouth with a little bridge. Probably the suspension bridge, honestly. All right, that's good for now. Yeah, I'll knock some of these trees down, I think. Okay, what? I feel like I hear a balloon. Oh, yep, there it goes. Oh, nice. Cool. So I'll show you how I made that little hybrid one. I'm gonna just click Y and copy this. And then change the design. And of course these aren't mums. <laughs> that does not look right. Okay, uh, I'll do the title in a second. So I just use the biggest pen tool here and so red plus red equals black nice and then red plus white equals pink red plus yellow equals orange and then these kinds of orange so i'm gonna grab the smallest star tool and then orange plus orange equals Purple. Perfect. Uh, I hope that makes sense. And then I'm gonna erase this. And then use the X tool 
the drag design. We like that. And now we have more space to write tulips at the top so that works. Alright, there we go. That title took me longer than I thought it would. Alright, I'm gonna place this over here as a painting and I'm gonna speed this little process up, I think. Alright, so I did a little bit more of the custom designs of showing the different flowers and their hybrid combinations. So that's what was there a second ago and I will place those behind the little flowers as we start organizing them here. And I'm just gonna move these little yellow mums separate from the rest of them so I know that they're the starred yellow mums to make the starred purple mums that can make the green mums. <laughs> very, very fun. Now I'm just gonna use that takeout coffee to move three of the orange trees here and I'll move the rest of them later. They're just going by the cherry trees a little bit down towards the beach here. I will have to find a more permanent home for them later. But yeah, I wanted to make a little thing for the mums to show where the special mums would be. So I'm just going to do that and keep those little stars at the bottom to show me how to make those still. But I am adding just a big yellowish orange and purple star here. So I know that these are the special ones to get the green ones um, where I put them in the grass, you know. And now we are just doing the little tulip section here. This one's not too bad, it's pretty small. Um, I just need the regular colors of the tulip, so that works out great. And yeah, the only special ones I will need are the orange ones to make the purple ones for the tulips. So hopefully we'll get those eventually. And then I'm just clearing some cliff to make more room for the fencing here. I'm trying to contain these flowers since we got the beautiful island ordinance. I just know they are going to get out of control if I don't. So yeah, I'm just using a mix of fencing here because uh, I couldn't really decide which one to stick with and I didn't want to use all of one material to make them all match. And this is temporary, so yeah, we might make a flower field though with like a mix of all of the extras, I don't know, or maybe if we have enough hybrid flowers, just a hybrid flower field, that would be really pretty. If you have any ideas, let me know. Yeah, there's that little sign we made with the stars, so I'm gonna put the yellow ones there to, to make the purple ones that can make the green ones. And then same reason that I separated these purple mums over here as the other mums at the top is because these purple ones came from two white mums and they will not make green mums so I just want to keep them separate so that we can make more purple mums from those but I know that they won't make any other colors so yeah at least I think so but we'll see <laughs> and I actually ended up moving the mums to the right there just so that they were all in the same area and I could see them all at the same time so it's just a bit easier for me and then where I had the mums before I can put the tulips when we get hybrids of those just like the purple ones that we have in the little stone fencing why the construction hat was off for a second here but we're gonna put it back on so that we can move the hyacinths and put those on some dirt patches as well we already have pink ones which is really nice I'm just chopping down this tree so that I can make the cliff flatter to add more flowers. And it's here where I realized that I didn't have any yellow hyacinths so I am on the lookout for those. Hopefully we get them soon because we will not be able to get orange hyacinths without them. And yeah, without the orange ones we won't get purple ones apparently so we definitely need to do that. I'm not sure where I got the hyacinths before where I didn't pick up yellow ones. Like maybe I just thought I did or something. I don't know, but I'm going to move the water there a little bit, cut down that little peach tree for more room, grab a little fossil, and then here we're going to get rid of the rest of this little river section. And then I'm planning to put the roses down there, but I am not doing that at the moment here. I'm just adding more signs here. I really want to get those infographics up to add, but... Yeah, that's going to take me a little bit. I'm just going to water the rest of the flowers that I haven't yet, and we'll jump back into the game. Okay, so I got the mums all good. So these are 
like just the normal seeded ones and then these are the yellow ones that we got from the yellow and red one so far so hopefully those will make a purple one and also possibly a green one but then if these make a purple one we can make a green one and then these purple ones are separate because apparently if white and white makes a purple those do not make green so I just want to make sure I keep those in their own little box and that's gonna be the same with the tulips here if they create if we create like a pink or a black one we'll put them over here so that they can spawn some more and the same with the hyacinths with the pink ones here but and the blue ones because these aren't the blue ones from the orange ones that we need to make purple ones <laughs> so yeah, this is really, really complicated, so thank you all for your tips again, my goodness. But yeah, we got the mums, the tulips, and the hyacinths all done, so I'm going to do the roses and the cosmos off camera, as well as the wood flowers and the pansies. I'll have to hopefully move those closer to over here so they're all in their own little space. Uh, not a little space, because... This is a really big section of the island. It's a whole square on the map. Sorry, I know it was a lot of sped up bits here and there, but we are getting the hybrids done. I will do the rest of these little fenced in areas with the flowers that we have. So the wind flowers, the cosmos, the roses, and the pansies. Oh my goodness, it's gonna take me so long, but that's okay. And yeah, we are still needing the lilies, but now that we have leaf at Harv's, hopefully we can get those quicker. Yeah, I hope that you all enjoyed day eight. Thank you again for your help with the hybrid flowers. I never do this, so this is very overwhelming so i appreciate it but i hope that you all have a great rest of your day and i'll see you tomorrow bye everybody